Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at all of the Jenga Fett Funko Pops and I'm including a bonus Jenga Fett VCD figure from Japan that kind of looks like a Funko Pop so we're gonna go ahead and throw them in for this video. All right, so first up we have the Bobblehead Jenga Fett Funko Pop from 2008 and I guess I should mention that all of them are bobbleheads. All of the Jenga Fett Funkos have the bobblehead. This one currently goes from about $30 to $80. It's a little more rare, it's a little more hard to find, so the price does fluctuate on this one. And then here's the box, what it looks like, what it comes in. It has the Funko there on the bottom, Star Wars on the top. It does have a little description of him right there. Really, really cool box description on this one. All right, and then here we have the mini VCD that stands for Vinyl Collectible Dolls by the Takara Tommy Company in Japan. Looks like it was also manufactured by Medicom, which makes um, a lot of like just really nice action figures. Um, this one came out in 2008. Um, it used to go for about like 15 to $60. I tried to look it up today recently and it was really hard for me to find. There were a couple listed for like about $100. So yeah, if you can find one, maybe just think 50, $100 range. Here is a look at the box. I love this like kind of half helmet and then half you can see the action figure inside. That's really cool. I like that. Jenga Fett here on the side. Here is the Tommy Car Company and here's the Medicom logo as well. Jenga Fett on this side. Age warning on the bottom. Star Wars logo on the top. All right, here we have the Jenga Fett Funko Pop that came out in, with the LEGO Star Wars Wii Game Bundle. Um, this was the only way to get that figure was with that game bundle. It didn't come in like its own individual personal box that we'll see with the other Funkos coming up here. Um, there are a lot of these available loose online that you can get for a pretty good deal. But if you want to get one new in the box, it costs about $70 to $100. And this came out in 2011, and as I mentioned before, it's a bobblehead. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention, the stand for this one is not attached to the figure. You just put the stand down and then the figure down on the stand. All right, next up we have the Walgreens exclusive Jenga Fett Funko Pop. This one came out in 2018. You can currently get one online for about $50. This is probably my favorite one of all the Funko Pops. I just love the kind of translucent orange fire base that he stands on. The flames like coming out of his jetpack. I think that looks really good. And the rest of the figure is really well done. Looks really nice. And just like all the rest of them, bobbles his head as well. Here is what the box looks like. You can see the Walgreens exclusive sticker there on the front. Pictures on the side. All right, and here's the last one that we have. This is the gold Jenga Fett Funko Pop. This came out in 2019. You can get one from about 15 to 20 dollars right now, and this was a Walmart exclusive. I'm not a huge fan of these gold repaints. I always gold or silver repaints. I have a, a few of these in my collection. I always just like the one with the original colors better. They always look the best, and it bobbles again. Of all right, here's the last look at the box. Here's the only a Walmart exclusive sticker. Here's the side, the back. There's no other advertisements for other Funko Pops on the back, so that's interesting. Not very common. All right, and lastly, we have this Jenga Fett Funko Pop pin. I don't know why Funko Pop makes pins. I wasn't really expecting this one. Um, I haven't taken it out of the box. I actually really like the way it looks inside the box right now. <clears throat> Here's what the rest of the box looks like. This one came out in 2021, and you can get one for about $10. Yep. So yeah, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed collecting these figures, and I just love having them in my collection. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.